faculty and we need staff. Uh, but the growth has been historic. And it's whether or not the growth will continue into the, into the coming years. And when you make a decision to hire a faculty member, you specifically, and we're talking about faculty first, you do a national search. And in many cases, the people who you choose to hire are people outside the region. And so you have to move to the region to, uh, to uh, 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 up, move, up, move the, fa the, the family and everything. And then, and then I want to make sure that we can be good to them and keep them here. And, and so I need to make sure that this growth is going to continue. And it would be unfair for us to hire five, ten faculty members this year and have to let them go next year because there's a downturn. Because clearly the people who we would let go first are those who, who, who were the most recent hire. Now, what we have been doing with faculty positions is that we have this year had replacement positions, and so, and, and so uh, anyone who left, we fill those positions, but in terms of new positions, both faculty and staff, I think it's it, Louise who mentioned today is that, is that we've been hiring between 10 and 15 new faculty a year ever since I, ever since I arrived. I started that process, I started, started that program, and we've, and, and we've done it. At the same time, we've probably hired an equal number of staff. Uh, and it's, it's, been, it's been mostly academic staff, not, uh, uh, I'd say academic and student affairs staff. That's where the growth in staff has been at the college. And it's because we've needed it. And we, and we have additional needs. But, it's, but the prudent thing to do right now is to watch where we are and so that we don't have to disappoint people later on the back end. Well, we, uh, we made the freeze decision this year, this year only. Uh, we are watching it for next year. We don't know if it will continue into next year. We'll see exactly where the enrollment is. Uh, we, we increased by 3.5% last fall. Okay. But we weren't sure about whether or not that was going to continue throughout the spring semester. We are very fortunate that it did, and student enrollment held. Uh, things got worse over that period of time. And we don't know where the bottom is yet. Every college and university is every private college and university is being very cautious as they look forward to the fall. We see that enrollment applications have tripled in some cases at community colleges and at state institutions. And so the question is, what does what does that mean for us as private institutions? Uh, some some privates are, are flat. Um, other privates uh, have very, very small increases in applications. And, and the question is, are students kind of deciding, weighing between the two, are parents weighing between the two, to see whether or not they keep their jobs, whether or not they can get the funds to support their students because parents are losing their jobs as well. And, and, so, uh, and so none of it will flush out until, until September, until we have a better sense in terms of where we are. We don't want to go down the discounting uh, uh, road. And what that has been is that you jack your uh, tuition up very high, uh, extremely high, and then you uh, discount. And so you have, a, you have like 40% of the people at the college who are paying the full tuition. And then they are paying the remaining for the others, and so the actual tuition would be twenty-five thousand dollars, and the true tuition is, is is twenty, because those folks are helping the others. We decided that we didn't want to discount and go down that road, and we would try to keep our entire tuition down for everybody. And so, if you look at our actual sticker price, quote unquote, our tuition price, it's we'll be at eighteen five this coming fall. Uh, the Chicago, Northwestern, uh, Loyola, uh, DePaul, no, no, not Robert Morris, uh, and I'll talk about that in a second. But those are at about close to $30,000 in terms of their sticker price. Robert Morris is probably at about twenty two. dollars right. I think Robert Morris is running less than ours right now. They're oh, running they are? Oh, okay. All right, okay, yeah. 
Yeah, Robert Morris probably and National Lewis and uh, and Roosevelt are, are closer to us in terms of what the actual the actual tuition is. Our approach has been to have a tuition that uh, that that is relatively approachable for everybody, and then we offer support. And rather than and rather than have it to be uh, uh, approached in that way, we put actual funds into the to the budget and then take that those funds out and pay ourselves. And so we don't do a discount. Discounting means that you you pay one price and I pay another one and that's the actual price that you pay. What we do is that everybody pays the same price, but we help some some people to pay that price. And so everybody pays that amount. And so we create a scholarship fund and then we pay ourselves out of that fund. But uh, but but we don't want to go to that very, very huge discounting price uh, uh, practice at all. And we try, to, and we try to stay away from it. Now, granted, what we're doing now is that we realize that in this, in this economy and at this time and during this place, uh, in the history of the college and the history of the world, is that we need to figure out some ways of getting funds to support students who have.